Welcome to Dance Showdown Season 3, the finale. After 12 weeks and millions of votes, the winner of Dance Showdown Season 3 and $50,000 will be revealed. You may have been following Dance On's leaderboard and think that you know who's gonna win. Don't be so sure. Cause in this competition, the winner is determined not only by your votes on danceon.com, but also by the judges, myself, Joey Fatone, and Kasim G. Let's bring out this season's contestants and announce the top three. Congratulations, you have all been fantastic. How has this experience been for you guys? Seriously, and be truthful. It was great. I had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was super fun. You know, regardless of anything, it was, it was really fun. And everybody was really nice. Was yeah. Really super nice. Quite the experience, for sure. I didn't think I could even, like, stay on beat, which most of the time I didn't, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad that I challenged myself. It was fun. Uh, yeah, I met a lot of friends on the show, and um, I really feel like I learned quite a bit that I will be using in the future. It was a challenge, but it was a fun challenge. And I got to meet amazing, amazing people. And you were super sexy the entire time, may I add? So without further ado, and in no particular order, ladies and gentlemen, your first finalist is Lindsay Sterling! Your second finalist for Dance Showdown season three is Ego Raptor! The third and final finalist of Dance Showdown season three is Mac Baby 11. <laughs> Congratulations to my other comrades because they did an awesome job. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you your three finalists of Dance Showdown season three. <laughs> Lindsay, come on over. Let me talk to you for okay. a few seconds. How are you feeling? You know, I'm really, really nervous. I've got the butterflies, the buzzies in the stomach. Um, but regardless, I had such a good experience on the show. I really did. I had so much fun. I personally want to say that I think you did incredibly. Oh. Let's take a look at your awesome journey on Dance Showdown. This has been such an amazing experience. Hey! Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. My name is Anjay. Anjay. Are you ready to dance? Yes. I came on this show to learn to dance. Here we go. For a YouTuber, I think she moves better than most of the others. I didn't have my violin. To step on stage without that and to perform confidently was really hard. Like, for me, this was by far the best routine I have ever seen on Dance Showdown. There were definitely parts of the choreography that, you know, you're thinking about through the song. Like, oh, when that part comes, I hope I nail it. Oh, we got the I will always look back on this experience and be so glad that I did it, because I've had the time of my life. Miss Alicia, Mac Baby 11, come on over. Again, super congratulations. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good, a little bit nervous, but I know I tried my hardest and I hopefully did my best, so we'll just have to see. I thought you really did an incredible job. Super proud of you okay. and good luck. Let's look back at your journey. When I first agreed to do Dance Showdown, I had no idea what I was in for, but once I came, I was just so excited. I don't even breathe, I was built in a factory. Thus it is written, I am first, none after me. That is what this show is about. That was just one of the best routines that I have seen on this show. You're doing all the steps, you're doing them, but I think there should be a little more Oh, dance, mm. so you are the sexiest stiff girl I have ever seen. <laughs> Alicia, I thought that was your best performance. <laughs> Even if we don't win, I've learned through this whole journey that I honestly really enjoy performing, so it was a blast for me. And last but not least, Ego Raptor. Raptor. Uh, hey, Come on you. over. Oh, hey. 
You're yeah. such an awesome dude, oh, sincerely. Thank you. How are you feeling? You're a finalist. I'm I'm all right. I'm you know, I'm just taking it all in, I guess. Let's take a look at your exciting, super sexy, super passionate journey on Dance Showdown. Hey, I'm Maxine. Hey, I'm Aaron. Nice to meet you. Aaron, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. Come sit with me. Okay. When I was approached by Dance On, I didn't realize it was going to be this much work and this much dedication and this much agony and this much physical pain. Uh, I liked it. It was simple. It was effective. You held your own pretty, pretty, pretty well. I feel like that was the sexiest thing I've seen all day. The fact that you are a gamer, Aaron, and that you took this leap to be so expressive is super amazing. I practiced a lot to, to get all these right, and to make it to the third round was gratifying. I hope we can make it all the way. And there you have it, world, your top three Dance Showdown finalists. The champion of Dance Showdown season three and winner of $50,000 is... Ego Raptor! Winning Dance Showdown season three is, uh, it's weird. I don't know, I never won something on this scale before. The final outcome of Dance Showdown season three has been like a really, a, a bittersweet ending. I think I should've won. That's what I think. Of course, I'm disappointed, but at the same time, I really respect Ego Raptor because he had never danced before at all. You know, he really did a good job, so I'm, I'm really happy for him. I really thought Lindsay was gonna win for some reason, and I was shocked when Aaron won, but Aaron, Aaron worked hard. Aaron, I think Aaron deserved it, but I think I still should've won. I'm a little disappointed, of course, because he doesn't wanna win 50 grand. It's a lot of money. I don't need that much money, so I'm gonna give a lot of it to charity. I think Eagle Raptor definitely deserved to win. He really tried hard, um, as we all did, but he did really good. I'm so proud of uh, Ego Raptor and Lindsay and Mac Baby and it just, this has been an awesome experience. Teaching YouTube stars to dance is an exciting challenge because while there might be a lack of rhythm, it's very fun to see them, especially Ego Raptor, so determined to succeed. Maxine as a partner, super influential to the winning. Every time I'd screw up, she's like, no, no, do it again, do it again, do it again. She wasn't like, ah, oh, screw this, like, suck, which was nice. My favorite moment of Dance Showdown was definitely the day of performances, when we got a chance to perform in front of the judges, our voters, fans. My, the first dance I did was actually my favorite dance. The way I was moving my body was, it was different, and I really liked it. I feel like it was a prom dance I never had. Uh, my favorite Dance Showdown moment was when Lance Fur and Sam and I completed our first uh, dance performance, and I didn't think it was going to be performed as well as it was and it was amazing, so I was really proud. I love all of the tutting that I did with Anthony. That is definitely a strong point for me, and I just, it's so cool doing it with someone else. It just looks so much cooler, like in my final dance routine with Anthony, that was, that was awesome. For me, Kasim was the toughest judge, because he's coming from the whole entertainment side of everything, and I don't know, it was really hard to impress him, but a couple times, he said I did all right, and for him, that's a lot. The very first move I learned when I walked in, Anjé taught me this sweet like lift where he flipped me over and up into the air. Um, I was really scared to do it, and so when we did it and we performed it on stage, it was that awesome feeling of, yes. Being on Dance Showdown has really changed my life, and it sounds kind of cliche, but it's so true. I've just really learned to push myself and try things that I'm not really comfortable with, and I feel like it's definitely gonna help my YouTube channel. I got to meet amazing people. I got to meet Lindsey Sterling. I got to hang out, hang out with the whole crew. I'm not really gonna pursue dance, but I'd, 
I'm gonna leave here knowing I got a few moves up my sleeve, a few more than just thrusting. Maxine and I have already worked together in further projects. I was a dancing dragon, and Maxine choreographed my dragon dance. After that, I will also be in the music video for Attitude City, which she will also choreograph. I've always wanted to be a dancer. I've always loved dance, and this gave me the confidence that I could do it. I've started taking some dance lessons. I've done two really dance-heavy choreographed music videos. I think I just needed a little bit of courage and self-confidence to do that, and Dance Showdown helped me get that. YouTube is broken up into a bunch of different little categories. Like, I never knew about Ego Raptor until I went on this show. And it's, it's awesome how uh, Dance Showdown can bring all these worlds together. It's just an incredible experience, and I'm so glad that I did it. Which YouTuber do you want to see for season four? Let Dance on know in the comments below. If you missed any of our Showdown performances, here's your chance to go watch them again. You can click the link below in the description to see them. Are you a dancer like me? If so, go to joindanceon.com. So if you want to see more Dance Showdown, make sure to subscribe to youtube.com slash dance on. Thank <laughs> you.